kids and jam friends, welcome back to today's story. So Satan was trying to stop God's plan by tempting Jesus to sin. God let Satan tempt Jesus to prove that Jesus cannot sin because Jesus is the perfect savior God promised to send. Now the Bible tells us three temptations Satan used to tempt Jesus. First, Satan tempted Jesus to take care of the needs of his body by turning rocks into bread. Because remember, Jesus wasn't eating for 40 days in the wilderness, so he must have been very hungry. Because Jesus is God and has all power, it wouldn't have been hard for him to turn the stones into bread. It would have been a piece of cake. But God wasn't against Jesus taking care of his body by eating. As the perfect Savior, Jesus would not do anything unless God told him to do it. Jesus was obeying his father, God. Listening to Satan and not God would have been sin. But listening and listening to Satan is always a bad idea. But Jesus told Satan, no, by quoting a verse from the Old Testament. Jesus was telling Satan that listening to God's word is most important. And again, Satan kept trying to tempt Jesus to sin. He tempted Jesus a second time by taking Jesus to the tallest part of the temple and telling him to jump off. What happens when you jump off a high place? You might get hurt or die. But Satan quoted a verse say, uh, that says angels will catch you. He said, don't worry, Jesus. You know, you'll, the angels will save you. He wanted Jesus to test God the Father by seeing if God would really send angels to catch him if he jumped it off the building. But then again, Jesus used God's word in the Bible to say no to this temptation. He said, you shall not test God. Satan tried one more time. He, he took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and how powerful they were. Satan said, Jesus, you can have all of this. All you need to do is bow down and worship me. Satan knew that only God is worthy of worship. It would be sin for Jesus to worship Satan instead. So what do you think Jesus did? Of course, Jesus did the same thing he had been doing the other two times. He quoted God's word. Jesus won against Satan's temptations. By winning against Satan's temptation, Jesus proved he is without sin and he is qualified to be our good savior. After this, Satan left Jesus alone and angels came to help Jesus, bringing him food and what he needed. But Satan didn't give up. He wanted to get rid of Jesus for once and for all. About three years later, Satan thought he had his chance again. Satan tempted one of Jesus' disciples to turn Jesus over to the authorities and the disciple did it. You might know this disciple as Judas. Satan thought he had won against Jesus. But again, Satan is wrong. Jesus, the savior, say, our Savior, defeated Satan by rising again from the dead. Someday, Satan will de be, uh, be defeated for all time. He will be defeated once and for all and will spend forever in a place called hell, a forever prison and, a, and punishment. Say it with me. Jesus wins. Jesus will rule forever as a king. There will be a new heaven and a new earth and everyone who has believed in Jesus as Savior will be with Him forever in that perfect place. That is something to celebrate. We don't know exactly when all of this will happen, but until it does, Satan still tempts people to sin and disobey God. You still have sin in your nature that tempts you to sin, but Jesus is alive and is more powerful than Satan or your sin, sinful nature and Jesus can help you obey God. So the next time when you feel tempted to do something that goes against God or that might be um, displeasing to your parents and Jesus, pray to the Holy Spirit and ask him to give him the strength that you need to fight against Satan's temptations.